Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 2 of serialization video. In the last class we have discussed about what is serialization. In this video we will discuss about different types of serializations that are available. As we discussed one is binary serialization, other one is soap serialization, another one is XML serialization. In this video I will discuss about binary serialization with exam. So what is binary serialization? It is a process of converting object into stream of bytes and store the object data in the binary format. That is the concept of what binary serialization. In order to work with binary serialization, we have to declare the namespace. That is using system dot runtime dot serialization dot formatters dot binary namespace. Is it clear? So actually under this namespace, we are having the predefined class. That is binary formatter. Under binary formatter class, two predefined methods are there. One is serialized method, other one is deserialized method. Is it clear? The serialized method is used to convert the object into stream of bytes and deserialized method is used to convert stream of bytes again into object format. Right? Let us see this example practically. Here I will try to open my Visual Studio Editor. File new project. I will try to select web. ASP.NET empty web application or even you can do even in Windows Forms application also. I will just select Windows Forms application. Or following, here I will try to design the form so i'll go to the view here i'll go to the toolbox and here i'll try to drag and drop one label control and one text box control also here let us say i'll go to the toolbox and there i'll try to drag and drop one label as well as here i'll try to drag and drop one text box control one label as well as one text box is it clear similarly one more label one more text box similarly one more label one more text box so i'll design my screen and here I will try to take two button controls. And here I have one button, button one. And here I will take one more button. Is it clear? Two buttons are there. Now select the label. And here I will try to go to the text. The text for the label I will give as enter something like student number. And here I will give something like enter student name. And here I will write enter address. Is it clear? So, and here two buttons are there you following so here what i want to do the text for the button i want to give as serialize is it clear and the text for this button i will try to give as deserialize is it clear serialize as well as deserialize two buttons i have taken you following so what is my requirement let us see here first of all i will try to increase the font i will give font bold is equals to true now here what is my requirement whenever i a, enter the student number, student name and address and click on serialize button. I want to store the object into stream of bytes. So first of all, double click on this button. So initially I will go to the project. I will add a new class. The, here I will try to select the class and the name of the Here I have given the name as student.cs. I declared one class. The name of the class is student. In this class I will declare some variables. int s number. Similarly string s name. Similarly, string address. I declare three variables. These three variables are instance variables. Right, and I will declare one constructor. Constructor must declare as public. Constructor name and class name both must be same. And I want to pass the uh, 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 parameters for the constructor. Something like int uh, number, comma, string name, comma, string s address. This is actually a parameterized constructor. At the time of creating the object, we have to pass the values. So I'll initialize the values. S number is equal to number. S name is equal to name. And here I'll write uh, address. Address is equal to S address. Are you following? So this is my constructor. These three are variables. For time being, I'll make these variables as public. Because the default access modifier of variable is private. The scope of private is within the class. We cannot access the um, private variables outside the class. That is the reason I declare the variable as public. So build, build the solution. Build means compile. Now I'll go to form one dot So here you see I'll try to create an object for student class. Student S1 is equals to new student of. The time of passing the values. The time of creating the object we need to pass what? Values. Is it clear? So that is the reason here I'll declare some variables. Like in the S number is equals to into dot parse of. I'll try to catch the value. Text box one dot text. And here I will declare string s name is equals to text box two dot text and I will and here I will declare string address is equals to text box three dot text 
Is it clear now? Create an object for student class. Student yes one is equals to new student of at the time of creating the object we have to pass the values for the parameterized constructor. So first of all I will pass yes number, comma yes name, comma address. Is it clear? So this is what I am creating an object for which class? Student class and store the values in the object. Is it clear? So in order to work with binary serialization we have to declare the namespace. Using system dot runtime dot serialization dot formatters dot binary. Is it clear? And here I have some predefined classes is there that is binary formatter. It is a predefined class, something like B I will give. Is it clear? If you want, I will create an object for this class, new binary formatter of. And there is a predefined method that is called as serialize method. How to call the method object name dot method name b dot Serialize of. So it is asking me to pass uh, uh, two values. The serialize method is asking me to pass two values. So before that, what I will do means I will I want to work with files concept. So I'll declare the namespace using system dot io. Right. So I want to create a file. So how to create a file? I want to create a file by using file stream. So file stream fs. Is it clear? now here? I want to create a file because I want to store the data in the file so here let fs is equals to new file stream of I'll create an object for the file stream I want to create one file in d drive d column slash and the name of the file I want to give student.txt text file and here I will try to use file mode file mode dot create comma and I will give the access as file access dot write so what is the meaning of this one I want to create a file that is a text file that is student.txt and I will give so now what is what I want to do means I want so initially here I create an object for student class and then I am storing the values in this object that is the memory is allocated for s number s name and address what are the values that I entered in the text box that values I want to store in the object and the reference variable is s1 yes or no now here here I created one file is it clear? So I create one file in which drive D drive with name student.txt. Now what are the values that I stored in the object? As it is this object data I want to store in the file. But we cannot directly store object data in the file. If you want to store you have to convert this object into stream of bytes. That concept is called as serialization. So here I am trying to converting this object into stream of bytes and store in the file. Is it clear? So there is one predefined method that is serialize method. That is available in binary formatter class. It is an instance method so that you can access by using object name dot method name of serialize of. So, what is the object name? Uh, S1. So, what is the meaning of this? Whatever the object that is available in S1, first what the serialize method will do? The serialize method will convert this object into stream of bytes and store that object data in binary format in this particular location. That is the meaning. Is it clear here? After that, I want to close the file. So f dot flush method I will try to use. Fs dot flush and fs dot what? Close method I will try to use. And finally, I will write some message saying that message box. Message box dot show off. Uh, uh, object is serialized. Object is serialized. Message box dot show off. Object. So object is serialized. See here, for example, debug. Check the output. Here I will try to use 101 and here I will give a name and here I will give some uh, address Hyderabad. Click on serialize. So here you see if you observe clearly you will get an error. Why because whenever you want to work with serialization you have to mark this class with an attribute that is serializable attribute. Are you following? Which class which object you want to uh, apply serialization you have to make that class as it work. Serializable attribute. The attributes are nothing but what? Classes. Now debug and once check the output here. Here I will try to give student number 101, student name Anil, address I will give Hyderabad. Now click on serialize, serialize, object is what? Serialized. Here you just go to D drive and open student.txt file. Here you see whatever the values that we stored, that values are stored in binary format. Binary format means it is not directly readable format, unreadable format. Again, if you want to deserialize this data, again when I click on deserialize, I want to 
it has to deserialize. Again, it has to convert the stream of bytes into objects and display the data in the text boxes. So, double click on button 2. And here again, you try to what? Uh, I will try to again write something like fs. File stream is equals to new file stream of new file stream of new file stream of here. Uh, where is my file? My file is located in where? D column. My file is located in D column slash slash. So, here I will try to write this code. File mode dot open. I want to open the file. So, here I will try to use the open method. And I want to read the data from where? File. So, file access dot read. And then I will try to use deserialize method. Is it clear? So, how to use the deserialize method? So, I will write b dot deserialize. Deserialize of so fs. So, what is the meaning of this? Whatever the data that is available in the file. Whatever the data that is available in the file is of one type. Uh, stream of bytes. Now, what this deserialize will do? This deserialize will convert the stream of bytes into what? Objects and store that object data in student s is equals to. Very funny. But whatever the data that is available is of what type? Stream of bytes. Now, I want to store that data in into object. Is it clear? So, I will try, try to type class here with student of. I hope you understood. Yes or no? Now, whatever the data that is available in fs is stream of bytes, this deserialize method will convert the stream of bytes into object and store as variable. And I want to display the output. Text box on that text is equals to s dot s number dot to string. And here I will declare text box to dot text is equals to s dot s name. And here I will write text box three dot what text is equals to s dot address. Are you following? And here I want to display the message box saying that um, object is deserialized. Is it clear? If you want, you can see here. Debug and check the output. Now, just whenever I click on deserialize button, is it clear? Deserialize means what? It is converting the stream of bytes into object. Where you don't confuse here. Whenever user clicks on serialize button, what this serialize method is doing? This serialize method is converting the object into stream of bytes and store in fs variable. Is it clear? Similarly, whenever you click on deserialize, but then what is happening? This deserialize method is converting the stream of bytes into object and store in S variable. That is how you can work with what binary serialization. That's the concept of binary serialization. So binary serialization is a mechanism of writing the data into the output stream such that it can be used to reconstruct the object automatically. In future, again, if you want to use the object, we can use it by converting the uh, stream of bytes. So, one of the main advantages of using binary serialization in the, is that the object can be deserialized from the same data we serialized. Is it clear? And the performance is 100% faster, and even it is more powerful. Uh, for uh, complex objects also, we can easily convert when we work with what? Binary serialization. Is it clear? So, in this manner, we can work with binary serialization. In the next video, I will discuss about what SOAP serialization. Is it clear? For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.